Michael and David, they asked me to tell you they don't suck. Otherwise known as <laughs> Menage a Duo. Let me get some folks in the doors so that I don't have to react in real time to the noises coming from upstairs. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just said we don't suck, and here we are. Collectively. Okay. Good evening, folks. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Gina. We are Menage a Duo. We have been playing since the beginning of the pandemic. Woo! Uh, Woo! And this is our almost first physical outing, so we don't suck. Um, to get us started, I will cut the shit because we're running way late. And all I need to get us started is a one word suggestion. And Amy and Jack, they look very excited, but you don't look excited. You don't look excited. Bell bottoms. Anything That's will. Bell look. bottoms. Bell bottoms. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> You look like you're proud of being vintage. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. It's not a sin. This is not a sin, gray hair. No. Your gray hair is not a sin. Mm -hmm. But if there should be any pride in this group that doesn't suck, if there should be any pride, I got 20 years on you, kid. Ooh. Vintage. Not this is a great semi vintage. Catching up to vintage. You're going to wear it like a metal. You're going to lord it over me. I'm so fortunate that you've chosen to be my protege. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, I mean, if you could just get like that Woody Allen look down a little more. That you care enough, really, it, it, it warms me. Up, up here, mm -hmm. eyes up, eyes up. I'm looking. Okay. <laughs> I cannot yet pull the whole. I can't <laughs> pull the whole Woody Allen look. So I'm starting bottom up, bell bottoms, then the belts, then you know whatever comes on top, and then the look. Twenty years from now. So you're saying I'm being too fucking harsh on you too soon? My expectations are too high, and that's why. Yes, you're. You're a hard ass, okay? <laughs> if I had any humanity, I would apologize. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, that was, that was tough. <laughs> Feels better? I'm not sure. I mean, standing there like all the scum, like, you know. The... See, doesn't that feel better when you come out? I'm not sure yet. Like, I haven't had a feeling in so fucking long sitting watching these Zoom boxes. Like, I, I don't. I'm not sure yet. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. It'll come back to you. That's not life. That's Zoom, cyberspace, little electrons <laughs> flying around. Fuck that shit. This is life. You're here now. Looking like Woody Allen, bell bottoms and shit. This is fucking great, man. Look at you. Beautiful. It, don't go judgy now. Don't judge it. Just, <laughs> you, you, 
were judging. You said I look great. Yes. And you said that it's real life. Yes. And that's good. Yes. And that I should be able to access my feelings. And yes. That that's good. And I just pause for a moment of quiet contemplation and reflection. <laughs> and what do you tell me? Don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I thought you were judging yourself. I always have a mirror set up when I do Zoom and like, and I yell at that guy in the mirror. So I thought you were doing the same thing, but you weren't. I was. You were? I was. I've had a lot of experience, okay? I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, cowboy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of experience judging myself. I have therapy co-pays out the here longer than a freaking CVS receipt. <laughs> See, again, you sound prideful that you have 20 more years of therapy on me. Just lording your therapy, keeping the man down over here, you know? Yeah. I probably have fewer years going forward than you do. I don't know that I ride motorcycles. I may have 24 hours in me. Why did you say that? I probably. Oh, probably. Probably. Okay. okay. Statistically, analytically, normal bell curve distribution. All yes, right, I Mr. Actuary, go on. <laughs> That's a statistician to you. Okay. Right. <laughs> I probably have years left on this plane than you. And if it gives me pleasure in this shorter expected lifespan mm -hmm. to judge myself, you would deny me that pleasure? <laughs> Only if you're judging yourself harshly. Oh, if you're caught. Now we have criteria for what I can judge myself about. <laughs> If only you could love yourself the way I love you, even <laughs> that would be so. Like, I'd have to be a well, self stalker. A I would have to be a self stalker to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you again, you say it like it's a bad thing. Okay, uh, I, I do it. Okay, I do it. All right. Fine. Okay, all right. I I am a little flattered. There you go. Hmm. How little. <laughs> Another fucking CVS receipt. secret very deep inside the enigma <laughs> deal with deal with it you're a fucking emotional burrito <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the most accurate assessment of me that you have come out in our entire marriage you're right i'm an emotional burrito <laughs> But you like burritos. I judge you favorably. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put guacamole on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would that be a more favorable judgment of me? A lot, especially if it's spicy. Hmm? Chopped onions, cilantro, lime, mm -hmm. 
Yente pepper? Habanero. Oh, you are. You are. You are a fucking hot emotional burrito. <laughs> <laughs> You look worried, all right? I'm just, uh, just, that's just, you know, cut. You look worried. I really fucked up, pooch. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Peter knows about this? Not yet. Why do you think I'm here? I don't want Peter to, do well, I mean, he's gonna find out anyway. I guess his pooch. Ah, this fucking hooked on phonics shit. PETA! Oh, 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 PETA! Oh, oh! <laughs> no, he has no idea. P-E-T-A, PETA, animals got it. No, they don't know shit! They just collect the money. They collect your donation, my donation. They don't give a shit about me. They probably do, but no, they don't know. <laughs> I haven't told them yet. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> my, my staying out of jail for my deeds mm. is contingent upon me being a 100% reliable snitch. <laughs> <laughs> for Peter? It's a job. <laughs> Do they pay well? <laughs> it keeps me out of jail. Oh, oh right, 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 right. <laughs> There's got to be a way. I'm, listen, I'm not proud of it, okay? I'm not proud of it. Well, that's I'm... the first time I've heard that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost remorseful. A little slide on the scale of progress. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like I make, can make amends to push come up and apologize, you know. I mean, I can make a contribution to Peter. Well, it's not a nine step amend. Another slide on the scale of progress. Well, I can't even do it! I mean, it's done. The deed is done. I want to be honest about it. <laughs> Please don't warn me about the honesty shit. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about just killing the dog and throwing it away? I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> not a murderer. I'm an animal <laughs> rapist, but I'm not a murderer. Yes! And you, you want me to, like, embrace you as, like, an... I'm good with that. Would that be too much? <laughs> I'm good with that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For a split second, I had this flashback that you were doing that thing again with a head mm -hmm. that you did 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I got scared. And you... I got scared. I got really, really scared for you again. This is scary shit, you know. But then I saw your foot and I was like, oh God, thank God. He's okay, he's okay. You okay? You're not okay. Which is it? 
I, it's a question. How the fuck would I know? Well, you gave me answers to both. <clears throat> Ask me one question. I'll see how I want to proceed. Are yep. you okay? <sighs> I'm really delighted that, that you're curious about that. No more than curious. I am deeply vested in you being okay. Are you okay? <laughs> this is reminiscent of 18 years ago mm -hmm. in the foxhole mm -hmm. when you when you shot that squirrel. <laughs> I can't even believe you remember that. It affected you. If I had any emotional depth, yes, I would say that that was triggering for me. <laughs> well, why didn't you say it back then? Did I cause the breakdown? Oh my God! Oh, you were a significant contributing. Factor. I don't want to be a significant contributing factor. I don't want any shit. I don't want that. I can't live with myself. <laughs> Why didn't you say so back then? Not that I could resurrect the squirrel, but why didn't you say something? <laughs> My parents brought me up to be polite. <laughs> they brought you up to be shut down emotionally like a fucking rock. A polite fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. You'll give me what I already have? You're a polite person, but you're an emotional rock. And I'm an emotional raw nerve pulsing. I'm so confused. I'm a polite fucking rock. My parents brought me up right. <laughs> At least one of us is not too well up here. I'm sorry. Uh, Just I, 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 I hope you get better soon. You mean that? I'm a polite fucking rock. What do you think I'd say? Mm. <laughs> This feels so much better than I got your back. It doesn't mean it won't. And if you want to have premature, unnecessary anxiety, that's absolutely fine. I already got it. Premature, emotional, anxiety. I need comfort. You want a blender? <laughs> With guacamole? <laughs> and habaneros? Ah. <laughs> oh. Boy, 
right. I, I apologize. I leave all the cleaning up to you. You do a great job in half the time, okay? I apologize. I've been taking advantage of you for as long as I can remember. That's why. For doing a job and cleaning up efficiently and quickly and cheaply? I apologize because I'm taking advantage of you. You do not have the emotional rock people make you out to be. You got feelings. I'm not going to tell anybody. Okay, okay, okay. Or I'll go be a Peter! <laughs> with an R or without the R? <laughs> Stop it. You know that premature emotional anxiety thing? Like, I got it now. I got heart palpitations. Yes. Yeah, and it was unnecessary because it was. It was completely Peter with an R. Not. <laughs> Peter! Oh, you fucking called me. That's okay. Now that's like outside the door. Are they outside the door now? For better or for worse, I'm in here with you. I don't know what's out there. <laughs> I'm going to the closet and I'm pulling out your old bell bottoms and I'm taking the stuff off and I'm gonna run away wearing nothing but bell bottoms. <laughs> and my shame, let them chase me. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, there were no coaches hurt in this set, okay? No victims. Yeah. You know the expression, screw the pooch? It's just a term. Yeah. <laughs>